loin d'abord. Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. Uh, what you have in front of you is the Umarex 40XP. Now this is a semi-automatic CO2 powered blowback BB gun that is actually really cool. Now the gun itself is actually pretty heavy. Uh, you have a steel slide, you have steel components within the gun, you also have a uh, steel magazine. Now the magazine drops free, um, you have a uh, little part right here where you charge your CO2 cartridge. Your CO2 cartridge fits in the back end of the pistol. You can see it there. Place it in, lock it down. Now I had a little bit of an issue tightening it down. Uh, there's not much room here and this isn't really that long of a tab to go ahead and tighten it, but it worked and I didn't have any bleed off so you know not too much to complain about. Now the gun itself is actually really nice. It does have a lot of little capabilities. First off the magazine holds 20 rounds you have a spring here on the side you go ahead and pull down this little tab and lock it into this little area right here you can go ahead and then fill your BBs into the hole and it holds 20 rounds then you release the tab putting the BBs under tension feeding them into the gun now on the last shot it will lock the slide back which is actually pretty cool I do like that and uh, it works really well so I'll go ahead and load it up um, the slide will lock back and then you have a magazine release or a slide release and your magazine release right below that your trigger has a little safety on it which actually works neat and then you have a safety on the opposite side which you have to uh, go ahead and manipulate it's easy to do with your trigger finger now you have a picatinny rail you can add any kind of laser or uh, well, you can add a flashlight if you want um, the overall weight though it actually weighs quite a bit this weighs about the same as my Glock 19 does empty so I mean there's some substantial weight there the other thing that I noticed this back piece right here is actually a little wide uh, wasn't really first at comfortable in the hand but after shooting it for a while you get sort of used to it and it's not really that bad the gun overall has a uh, fairly decent uh, ergonomics you know I mean it works out really nice uh, could be a great little training tool if you wanted to use it as such uh, the back end you have uh, high-vis sights in the back but not in the front uh, and I noticed when I was shooting the gun it was shooting a little low now I was shooting at a target about uh, 30 feet away and on the video you can see the BB's hitting the bottom of the can and I was aiming about mid to top of the can so there was a little bit of a, a little bit of a issue with that but you know it's easy to compensate and get used to with your pistol um, they might not all be the same so depending on your gun on how it shoots now for me I was shooting the uh, Daisy steel BBs I like these uh, just because I shoot into a wooden fence sometimes and uh, the steel BBs won't bleed like the copperheads will on the crossmans so uh, that's the only reason I do it, but you can shoot whatever BBs you want to. You're going to give it the same ballistics with each BB, so uh, they all weigh about the same and are about the same size. Now, with that said, I was using the Crossman CO2s, and they worked out really nicely. Um, the CO2 lasted pretty good. No problems, no issue. The gun was fun to shoot. No, uh, no real issues with the gun itself. Um, it's actually a really nice gun. The blowback isn't that violent it works out pretty nicely and I actually like it a lot I mean the power behind it was a little bit I was a little more desired you know a little bit more power to it um, when I was shooting the uh, steel cans it was going into the can but it wouldn't pierce through it so it was only going in one side but definitely um, and not all of the BBs went in a few of them actually just dented the can so the uh, the power might not be uh, at 400 all the time so uh, with that said the gun itself is actually really nice and 
very capable for a neat little plinker in the backyard. Uh, it would definitely tear up some uh, aluminum cans. So that is a look at the Umarex 40XP. Any questions, feel free to ask. If you can, please subscribe, like, comment. Um, other than that, you guys have a good one. Be safe, take care. We'll definitely talk to you soon.